Gaga Joy at Gaga Joy's Cooking. I'm glad you joined us today. It's a free day. And I thought, well, this is a good day to make a cake since I'm not going anywhere. And today we're going to be making a jelly roll cake. Uh, remember when, of course, when I was growing up, I remember the red raspberry um, cakes. Do you remember those? I do. To the jelly roll cakes. Anyway, I've been planning on making it for a long time, but I couldn't find a red raspberry preserves or jelly. It's all, you know, the jam, and I didn't want the seeds. So I found this uh, not long ago, and I thought, well, I'm going to make a jelly roll cake. So it's very, you can see it's very easy, and I know you get tired of me saying that, but it truly is. Four eggs, a fourth cut of uh, powdered sugar, um, a tablespoon of sugar, three-fourths cup of flour, vanilla, that's it. So, we'll give it a try. You just put the, uh, you start off with four egg whites in your mixer. I think I got a shell in there. Oh, it did. Gosh, some of these yolks look like they're from little tiny eggs. These are supposed to be uh, large eggs. I guess I should have a more uniform way of separating them. Okay. Now, you need to let this... Uh, Let's start it on. Let me start it on. Got to start it this side. Turn it off small. Put a little tiny pinch of salt in. Anytime you use eggs, you use just a pinch of salt. Stage, you just add a tablespoon of this regular sugar. Okay, I think this is ready. I just just got a little bit wider, if you see. I'm going to take this off and use it when I'm mixing the two. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put a quarter cup of cake flour. And you know, you really do need cake flour for certain cakes. This is one of them. I wouldn't try, I wouldn't go through all this trouble and not do it. You know, use that. If you use the, uh, the hand from the uh, mixer, you can still keep the lightness there. Put a teaspoon of vanilla. I've got my uh, oven eating to 350. Uh, and I've got my pan with um, parchment paper in it. Okay. Now this is a half a cup of cake flour. I, I sort of broke them up so they didn't get them mixed up better. Now 
at this point I'm going to use a spatula so I can get it all around here. It's small, too small. Let me get a bigger one here. Okay. Now we're going to start uh, adding the whites. I'm going to use just a maybe a tablespoon at a time and just sort of try to not beat them too much just sort of keep the eggs whites mixing in Do it one more time And you see this cake, it just takes, uh, it doesn't take long to make. <laughs> You're better than me anyway. I promised someone I'd make him this cake uh, several months ago, so I figured this was the right day to make the cake. It'd be a right, right, right day to pro make my promise. have a, a jelly roll pan. It's, had, it's about seen its last days, but uh, I think people use them, use all kinds of pans. Uh, I've got friends that um, make cakes that they don't use the jelly roll pan. I put a piece of parchment paper down for the uh, but you don't put any oil around the sides of the pan because it needs, uh, they say it needs to find a place to hold, you know, instead. So it's sort of, well, that's ridiculous. And get it as level as you can. down it next to the bigger um, bubbles out of it. Well, I'm going to stick it in the oven at 350. It's actually, it's done in about 12 to 15 minutes, so we'll see how it turns out. Well, I, I'm getting my cake out, as you see, and just to touch it, you see that it just bounces right back. I'm going to take a knife, go around those sides that they said uh, not to grease. Because I always had greased them. Okay. Yep, looks like it's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little powdered sugar on the top of this so it won't stick to the towel that I'm putting it on. I always use a towel that's um, turn it over with that has no uh, terry on it or it might just pick up a little bit of your terry cloth. I love these towels though. Yep. It's perfect.
And then here we go. Now I think I'm going to trim off the little ragged ends so it will look pretty. Er. Now, most of these cakes have a memory, so uh, I could put the jelly on right now, which I think I will do, or you can roll it up and put it in the refrigerator and put it out, bring it out the next time. I mean, the, but I think today I'm going to put the jelly on it since it's warm, and uh, I've got an appointment for me. And you know what's so, what's so bad about this? You can't put a lot of your jelly on it or you'd have a jelly running out everywhere. I thought, gee, I could just use a whole, well, it don't happen that way. It said, uh, I love uh, raspberry uh, jam, but this particular instance, I didn't think it would be that good, so I was, that's why I was holding out for the preserves. Okay. Now we'll turn it around this way. And we're going to roll it. It's that first roll that's tricky. little cracks in it like that, it means I've cooked it too long. I probably should have taken it out in 11 minutes instead of 12. Of course, it's not going to hurt it at all. The flavor of it, but you do want it to be perfect when you go to the trouble to make something. Okay, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then we'll be back and see what it looks like. Maybe even eat a piece. Well, I got my jelly roll out of the refrigerator. Let's see how it looks. Jelly rolls. Let me taste one of them. Well, you can certainly taste those raspberries. Oh, that is good. It's got that that uh, little bite to it. Mm hmm. I wish I'd put more raspberry in it though. Because that's good. That is very good. And they're not, a, they're not huge. I could have used a little bit, changed the recipe, 
but I left it like I had it written down. So they're small, but they're good. They got that. I like that sour, that you know, that little sour taste to them. One more. Oh, I'm glad they turned out so well. It's been a while since I made them. Uh, my biggest regret is not putting more raspberry in it. Because it's, it's good. It's a real, it's a real good flavor of raspberries. Well, it's been a good day. We'll try something else soon my neighbor says the morels are in the more morel mushrooms so maybe we'll come up with something for the morel mushrooms so see you soon remember to join subscribe ring that bell have a good week see you soon